Punches Pilot, also on the web at clevercatholic.com. Punches Pilot. Punches Pilot, governor of Judea, presided over our Lord's trial, ultimately ordering his execution. There are non gospel historical sources which also record that Pilate ordered Jesus' crucifixion. The link is on, is on clevercatholic.com. However, there is a tendency found in varying degrees in all the Gospels to present Pilate in a favorable light. New American Bible Commentary, Matthew twenty-seven eighteen. When the crowd shouts, Crucify him, Pilate asks, Why? What evil has he done? I am innocent of this man's blood. Matthew twenty-seven twenty-three and 24. He says, I find no guilt in him. John eighteen thirty-eight. No capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and release him. Luke 23, 16, 15 and 16. Consequently, Pilate tried to release him. John nineteen twelve. Pilate even hopes that by releasing a prisoner, the crowd will pick Jesus. Instead, they shout for Barabbas' release, Matthew twenty-seven twenty-one. Ironically, Barabbas means son of the father. Luke, though, relates a story about Pilate that doesn't cast him in such an innocent light. At that time, some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their, the Romans, sacrifices, Luke 13, 1. What is known about Pilate from the Jewish historian Josephus, such a slaughter would be in keeping with the character of Pilate. Josephus reports that Pilate had disrupted a religious gathering of the Samaritans on Mount Gerizim with a slaughter of the participants, and that on another occasion, Pilate had killed many Jews who had opposed him when he appropriated money from the temple treasury to build an aqueduct in Jerusalem. New American Bible, Luke 13.1 Perhaps the Gospel writers wanted to say that in the trial of Jesus, Pilate was a victim of circumstance or providence at the wrong place at the wrong time. You would have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. For this reason, the one who handed me over to you has the greatest sin. John 19.11 Pilate's wife may have glimpsed a foreshadowing of the tragedy that was about to occur. She sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. Matthew twenty-seven nineteen. Maybe she dreamt in a nightmare that billions of times, through the millennia, until the end of time, people would say over and over, For our sake he was crucified unto Pontius Pilate.